Dr. Dre has like multiple gifts. He was in here rapping. You know, he's an MC. <laughs> he was like, eh, uh, 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 uh. go ahead, you want to freestyle for us? Uh, give like, me a beat, yeah. G- no. Give me a beat. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Well, you know, we're excited about the House of Joy, which Amen. is going to be launching March the 4th. Um, and you're, you know, you, you have had some great, great ministries, um, you know, great things that, that you've done. I mean, you had the Bomb Squad. Do you still have the Bomb Squad? Well, the, the, what you're referring to, the Bomb Squad is, is an actual rap group, a gospel rap group um, headed up by Chuck Diesel. And they are still making music. But what I did, I, I kind of wrapped it in a ministry movement called Believers on a Mission. And we put a uh, internet radio station together. And we actually just launched worldwide. Um, if I could give the, the web address, uh, you we'll, let we'll, me know. We'll put it on praise okay. In okay, 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 amen. But yeah, that, that's a ministry that's going. And then you, you talked about um, some of the different things that God's blessed me to do. I was able to shoot some rap videos um, for some of the gospel rappers. Uh, you know, we were able to do a fashion show, Arts Night at the Light. Last year, uh, I just got finished working on a movie called The Sacred Seven uh, right. with uh, Mark Bessiaki, and uh, we're getting ready to let that go. So this is what I mean when I say my ministry doesn't fit in a box. It, it's very 21st century focused, and I just, just to God, to God be the glory for the things that he's done. He's told us to stir up the gifts, and I'm excited about the House of Joy being the platform for all of those different avenues, performing arts and multimedia but none more important than just the, the delivery of the word to meet people right where they are. And uh, so I'm, I'm happy to have with me today uh, also our youth pastor. I wanted to introduce him to the city. Uh, he's done a lot of his ministry work in Ohio, uh, but he is a, a tremendously gifted young man. Uh, Reverend Nicholas O'Rourke uh, is with me today. And he's with, our leadership group is a, a three-strand core, myself as a senior pastor, uh, Reverend Lee Robb as executive pastor, and uh, Nicholas O'Rourke here with the, with the tremendous vision for the youth of our city. Well, you know, when we come back, we're going to talk with you about, you know, the importance of our, of our youth and what you are going to be doing uh, over there. I know when I first met you, Pastor Jane, you were just phenomenal when it comes down to the youth and young adults. I think, I feel like you really touched those guys and, and, and young people um, young adults, I mean, that was like the missing piece. I felt like, you know, um, a lot of times we cater to, cater to our youth, we cater to our seniors, but we miss the gap of those who are going to college or maybe who have come out of college or, or they're transitioning into their 20s and 30s, and they want to know God, they want to live God, but they don't feel like they fit in to the, the tradition that, that we normally know as, as it is. So coming up, we're going to have more conversations about the House of Joy and your ministry coming up on AM 1310, The Light. Thank you. 